All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Chakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scripture. Scriptures and salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. I just want to do a skillful adding to the Apostle Gabar's uh, newest video, all right, which is entitled, and Salakia, from pronouncing this wrong, um, it's um, Sang Sanctificetu Nomen, okay? All right, that's the newest video that he put up, and he basically did a response to a particular statement that the um the uh the head of um I believe it's uh North Carolina or is it South Carolina? I think it's uh uh I don't know if it's North Carolina or South Carolina, Salakia, um Ashiar, all right. And uh his uh YouTube channel is uh, GMS upon precepts, okay? And um you know as the uh as the uh, uh you know the big brother out there and you know North Carolina he um was saying that basically you know you got guys out there you know from these other camps you know they don't push the name basically of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai okay and he made a statement saying that you know you got to get away from them and then apostle Gabar was basically saying look man instead of getting away from them, you got to run away from these guys okay and pretty much he was saying that it's a complete disrespect that these um, other camps, they don't push the names, okay, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and also how these other camps, which um, basically makes them hypocrites, they'll get mad if you don't, you know, call them by their Hebrew name, you know, and that's crazy. And um, through the Spirit, though, we kind of uh, covered a little bit of this topic, all right, at camp as well yesterday. All right. And, um, you know, because look, the uh, the elect. All right. They're going to stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK, which we'll get in a little bit in that second Ezra, the uh, second chapter. OK, and look, the elect, as it says here. OK. In uh, Sirach 17 and 10, it says here, and the elect shall praise his holy name. You see the elect, they're going to praise the uh, holy name. You know, names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, they're not going to call, you know, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, you know, Most High all the time. Okay? Now, sometimes you may hear us say Most High. Okay? You may hear us say Lord. Okay? You know, may, you may hear these things from time to time. But we push the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That, that's what you're going to hear, you know, us preach. Okay? These are the camps. All they talk about is, you know, Most High. In Christ, okay, you know that they, they push that you know uh, a lot. You know that's one thing that that, that that you'll notice about you know Great Millstone compared to the other camps of how we you know constantly push you know the names. All right, you know, you see, and you know what it says in Second Ezra that those elect men are gonna you know. Stand stiffly for the names. Because, look, basically, if you're not pushing the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're basically ashamed of the Lord. Okay? You're basically ashamed of the Lord. And if you're ashamed of the Lord, look, he, he's not going to, um, you know, he, he, he's not going to, uh, you know, give you a good report in that day. All right? Look, Yahweh, hey, Yahweh Shai is not going to give that good report to Yahweh. All right? If you're ashamed... All right, to proclaim the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. But uh, let's get this. All right, let's get this. Salakia, give a few precepts here, um, or a few verses. Let me start at actually. Um, I'll start at thirty-eight. This is a uh, Second Ezra, two and thirty-eight, and it says here, "Arise and stand. Arise up and stand. Behold, the number of those that." Be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world. Okay, and one of the things that we've done, all right, is we've left off the names of, you know, God and Jesus Christ, okay? 
You know? Now we're praising Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're praising the true names, okay? Of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know? Because hey, they, 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 that's a part of uh, uh, the shadow of this world, okay? Those things, they, that's a whole ideology. When you push those names, I'll say this. When you push those names, you know, God and Jesus Christ, that, that has a whole ideology, okay? That brings up, you know, uh, mental uh, depictions in your brain. Because when you, you when you say God and Jesus Christ, you think of a, 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 a so-called white man, okay? Whether you admit it or not, it's subconsciously drilled in your mind. You start thinking about those Renaissance, you know, uh, uh, paintings. Okay, you see. You see when you uh, you know you 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 uh, push the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and you think of the dark images, you know, the dark depictions. Okay, that are out there. You see. You know it's not good to uh you know be pushing those names. Those names have been pushed on our people for hundreds of years, man, and they we need to break away from the, uh, those things. Okay. All right, but let me keep reading. Which have departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. And you see, I'll say this, the elect... You know, they've been uh, predestinated from the beginning, okay? To be a uh, uh, hallowed, meaning to be wholly separate, okay? They were always going to be different from, the you know, the rest of this world. They weren't going to be the same, okay? They're not, they weren't going to be cut from the same cloth, all right? You see? So, uh, and with that being said, they, these, they, they, they elect those people, those men, women, and children... They're going to praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not going to praise, you know, God and Jesus, all right? Most High Christ, all right? You know? You see? Let me keep reading, though. It says here on um, verse 42, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. In the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which i marveled at greatly so i asked the angel and said sir what are these he answered and said unto me these be they that have put off the mortal cololing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of yahweh now are they crowned and receive palms all right i'm gonna keep reading then said i unto the angel what uh, young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, which the Most High is Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Yahweh by Shema al Shai. Alright, you see? The elect, they're going to stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Shema al Shai. You see? Alright. They're not going to be ashamed, you know, to uh, proclaim the name, okay? All right? And let's look up that scripture. I think it's in the Gospels where it talks about that. Yep, here we go. Um, maybe I should get Mark. Here we go. Let's start here. Um, you know, we'll start at 34. This is uh, Mark 8 and 34. And it reads here. And when he had called the, the people unto him with the, his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Okay, you got to uh, bear your cross. And look, they, the names of Yahweh Bashim and Asha are going to be hated in this world. They're going to hate what we're preaching. The t you know, the testimony, the report. Okay? You see? But we we got to um, hey, deny ourselves and carry our, our cross and follow the Lord. Alright? Follow Yahweh Bashim and Asha. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Meaning if you're going to, 
you know, save your life in this world, you're going to lose, all right, your life at the end of the day, okay? You're going to be put to death, all right? But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it, okay? So if you lose your life in this world, all right, you know, you have a so-called bad reputation in this, you know, current present evil world, you're going to uh, save yours. Because look, at the end of the day, these people of this world, they're going to be, you know, destroyed, okay? And that's because they were wicked and they were evil. And look, we don't want any parts of that. You know, we want to be saved on, on being righteous and, and following the Lord's, you know, uh, will, okay? All right. Let me keep uh, reading verse 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Okay. And, you, you know, in order for you to gain riches of this world, whether it be reputation, whether it be, um, you know, money, women, land, etc., you got to do vile things. Okay. And there's levels to it. It could be a small thing or it could be a large thing. All right, but if you if you gain something in this world, you know you're gonna have to you know sell out, and it, it's a a terrible thing, you know. And our people are completely destroyed because of it. Let me keep reading verse thirty eight. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. All right, you see. If you're ashamed of the words, all right, and in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, if you're ashamed of him during, you know, during this time, you know, you know, while this society is still, uh, you know, intact, and when the Lord comes back, all right, you're going to be ashamed, and He's not going to defend you. Okay. Let me see if I can find uh, the one in Luke. All right, and let me get this one real quick. Let me see. Let me see if this is it. I forgot how it's worded exactly. Um, man. Man, I forgot how it's worded. But yeah, but basically, you know, if if you don't um. You know, proclaim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai if you're ashamed. All right, the Lord, he, he He's not going to put in a good word for you. Okay? He's not going to put in a good war, word for you. Hey, Yahweh Shai, he, he, He's not going to give, you know, He's not going to give that, you know, that good word to Yahweh. All right? Point being, though, is, hey, look, you know, the, the elect's going to praise the holy name. They're going to stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. And they're not going to be ashamed. Okay? All right, of their power. See, these other guys, they're, 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 through their deeds and actions, all right, they're ashamed. You know, whether they, you know, believe it or not, they are, okay? But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, just like I said, a little quick, skillful adding. You know, hopefully this was edifying. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shemuel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.